Hey guys, what's up? We are back. But this is just a quick little introduction, uh, just apologising about the audio in the upcoming podcast. It's a bit scratchy, but the second half of it is actually really quite clear and a lot better. Uh, but I promise you guys I'm working on the, on the uh, audio aspect of it. The next ones are going to be so much better. Um, but we're back. We're back and we want to make this a regular thing, like a weekly episodic thing that we do when we get together and talk about random stuff. But uh, this is just on the way. I was dropping Josh at the airport and we had a good chat about stuff. And uh, we're going to do this very, very regularly because we really, really enjoyed it. Um, and here we go. Apologies, apologies once again for the audio quality. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. We're back. Let's do this. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, we're all over the road. I tell you what, What's we're up? over the road. It's, it's Wednesday morning, doggo. Wednesday morning, it's precisely 8.04 a.m. 8.04 a.m. And we're in the car together. Yeah, we're in the car just going for a cruise. We're just going for a cruise. We're actually, the sun's beaming down. He's got his glasses on. He's got a beanie on. Jumper on. Oh, he's but, taking his glasses it's off. It's fucking chilly I'll here in Perth what. Town. It's 19.5 degrees. That's what your car's saying. But it feels a lot colder than that, doesn't oh, it's it? It's definitely colder outside, my friend. So, um, I'm actually leaning and steering uh, while Doggo's actually putting on his... Uh... So we've got to do more podcasts, DJ. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Are we down? Yeah, because we've got to get back into the YouTube business where yeah. all our thousands and thousands of fans out there. When did we go down to thousands when we had millions? The millions! And millions of fans. And millions of fans of the Retro Bros. We've got, to, we've got to get back in action, man. We are in action, and, and this, is, this is the first point of our action. Uh, it is the me? first point, because we're back. We're, we're back. We're, we're back. back. It's 8.01, and uh, we're back. And I'll tell you what, we've got a big season four coming up. We Don't do, we? we do. We've got a huge season four coming up. We haven't started filming yet. But we will. We haven't started preparing yet. Nah, but we, we will. But we will. <laughs> we, will. we will. But we will. It, will. it will happen. And you know what? We could... We could knock it out, I reckon. Eleven weeks, dude. Right? Definitely. Eleven definitely. weeks of fucking retro bros action. And we got we got to do it before uh, you know the little uh, the little the little bubbers come along. The little bubbers. Are little, you having a baby? I'm having a baby, mate. Are ya? Yep. Really? Yeah, it's been busy. I didn't know. <laughs> you you're didn't. Having a, you're having a retro baby. A retro baby. This is huge. Little puppy. No way. For the doggo. This is a boy. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl. It's a boy. Uh, no, the missus, the missus wants to keep it a secret, yeah. so... Does she actually know? No, she doesn't. So they haven't told her either? But mind you, we've got our, you know, 18 to 20 week scan, scan coming up. in a couple of weeks. You and might they, see a little... We uh, might see a big, uh, you know, like his daddy. Yeah, yeah, a big, a big monster. A big monster. Like, like, like father, like son. <laughs> if we know what we're looking out for. Yeah. But, um... Okay, no, well, we then, don't, we then don't you know. won't be able to see anything, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> we don't know, mate, we don't know, but, um... I hear it might have a little cousin, a little retro really? cousin. Really? Yeah. Where from? From, uh, from one of your sisters or something. Well, I, I, I heard that um, you know you're having a baby as well. I'm having a baby. As well. <laughs> I'm having a baby girl though. I'm having a little baby retro a baby girl. Baby girl. And she Ooh. she's gonna be kick ass at video games, man. She is she gonna should. be. She's just gonna be a, a machine. She's gonna be a monster. Really? I'm not even sending her to school. I mean, she's literally gonna be at home. She's gonna learn from video games. Seriously, no. She's gonna be. You know, there's all these games that you make, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars now out mm. there, you know, in the, in the major league, you know, kind of series yeah, video man. game world. So, but you know what, her her groundings, her groundings will be retro bros. Yep, yep. And then, uh, yeah, then I'm going to start getting her into, you know, other stuff. by keep, keeping her classically retro, but she's not going to school, man. She is going to make us a fortune. You know our kids, they're going to grow up, not with this fucking latest technology, man. They're, they're going to be playing Atari. They're, they're going right. to be thinking, what the hell is this massive joystick? Yeah. Space Invaders, Galaga. Gonna, Pitfall. That's play, what they're going to be playing. They're going to play mate. all the old stuff. Not man. this mobile phone shit like Chicken Dance or whatever it is. Yeah. Chicken Run. Whatever the fuck, fuck they're called. Flappy Bird. Flappies. That's what I was flappos, thinking. Flappos. <laughs> flappos. None of this mobile it. fucking games, mate. They're playing Atari, mate. They're going to play Angry Birds. And they're going to respect that shit. Because if they don't, they'll get, they'll get <laughs> fucking grounded. Okay, they'll get grounded. They'll get grounded and then they can play more Atari until they begin to like it. Yeah, man. They'll love right. it. They'll but, fucking love it. I mean, it. honestly, imagine playing NES Mario Brothers, you know, for the first time as yeah, a kid. Oh, I want to see their excitement, you know what I mean? Yeah, because, and, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what's going to be exciting when they're going to go, oh my god, this is awesome. Well, yeah. Even when I played Alex the Kid, you know, oh. on, C, on Sega Master System, man, yeah, you man. know, like, that was, that was wicked. That was wicked. Mate, exciting times coming up. Very exciting. Like I said, that's quite, we've been out of action, we had a bit of big break from the old season three where DJ did beat me, which I'm still yeah, having nightmares I, about. 
it, it hurts. It hurts for Doggo because it was an awesome comeback and we, we couldn't actually believe it. I thought it was actually all out, all out for money and um, yep. boom. Yeah. Boom. boom. Having boom, nightmares boom. every fucking night about that, mate. Yeah. Every night. Every night. Every, every, every night. night. We've just been listening I've to been some like... <laughs> yeah, We've just been listening to MJ on the way as well, so... But anyway, we are back. Magic Johnson. We're going to start doing more uh, podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Magic Johnson. MJ. Yeah, Magic Johnson. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. My jocks. <laughs> so, anyway, Josh. Yeah. What did, you, what did you think about uh, Thinky. Game of Thrones this Thinky. week? I'll tell you what. Well, interesting episode. Episode but, four. But I loved, I loved the battle scene. I oh. mean, everyone out there would have loved... Everyone would have loved the battle scene. Um, when the King Slayer and, and Daenerys right at the end, I thought Daenerys was gone, and I was like, "This Did would you? be." Well, obviously, you know, there was a glimmer of hope. You know, I thought, you know, there's no way they can kill off Daenerys. You know I thought, I, mean? I thought King Slayer no... might have got dead, uh, well, might have died then. Yeah, but but just yeah, but he didn't get hit by the fire. No, well, that's the thing. If the dragon comes down, I thought, "Holy shit, this is it. He's he's going to get fucking burnt up into crispies." Yeah, yeah. And uh, no, the other dude saved him. And, yeah. Put him into the water. But um, but, 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 but the thing is, you know when he's in the water, these guys, remember, can't swim. You know, like, if we're talking, remember, like, the oh, old story. Oh, how heavy is yeah, his armour? that's what I'm saying, yeah. So, the, the, his armour, he's only got one hand. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Because back in the day, well, you know what, that's why castles had moats, because nobody knew how to swim. Mm. You know what I mean? No one could actually get through the water. Plus, he's only one-handed. I'm pretty he's sure he wouldn't die from that. all that armor on. I'm pretty sure he won't die from fucking drowning. I'm pretty sure no, he won't. and I'll, t I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, because I think what they're going to play... Remember in the first season, remember when the King Slayer got captured? Mm. The second season, mm. they, they, tra they, you know, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Lady Stark, you know, carried around for a bit. I think that's what they're going to do. I think they're going to go in there and get him, and then he'll be fucking captured. And then that will be used as bargaining power... When they take oh, him to King's right. Landing. Okay. So I'll capture him. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Because imagine, imagine Daenerys going to King's Landing with, you know, the incestuous fucking brother of the Queen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What it's do you think? Good call. Yeah, I think that's a really good call. I, I just didn't, I didn't even think about the whole swimming thing and, and drowning, but I'm pretty sure he ain't going to die after that. Yeah, no. Nah. This this guy is the King Slayer, bro. Oh no, he has to he has to have a and everyone, bigger death. Everyone loves his story. If mm. he just dies in a pond, and he's a good guy a lot of the time, and you don't know. But what do you mean he's a good guy? He is. You can tell he's got a lot of good about him. Um, you know, with his brother and not wanting to like just fucking murder no, people like his sister. His no, sister's an no, evil bitch. No, he has some good in him, but then he has this bad as well. So it's like I don't reckon he has any good in him. Bullshit. Whatsoever. What are you talking about? He saved his well, brother. He's um. Well, why is he doing all this though? If, if he had any good in him, he would know. He does. He knows his. Stuff. He knows his sister's a well, fucking still doing bad mental stuff, case. Then? That's because it's in his blood, and he just he just has to do it yeah, because but he's if a fucking he's good. He shouldn't be doing any bad stuff though. Yeah, but no, but you can see him doing good stuff but throughout the whole still season. Bad though. He is, but he's definitely got a good part in him. You can tell, man. Nah, nah. I just think if you're Come good, on, you, man. if you're good, you do good all the time. Come you, on, man. Nah, he does good in him. He has got some good in him, but he just has Slayer. to go along he's with the, the bloodline and what he's doing. Bro. He's the King Slayer, bro. This guy <laughs> is is full blooded to House Lannister. Man, he's he doesn't want and anything that they, they will do to survive, he he will actually do it. There's no good in him. At all, he's like any other house. They'll do wow. anything for their house. That's to bullshit, support. ladies and gentlemen. Give us some feedback. He's definitely got good in him. If you haven't read that through all these seasons, no, you think he's good. Like when he helped out. What's that? That, that lady. He has you know, got you know, good you know, in what's him. Her, what's her name? Um, yeah, her. He helped Brianna. her out as well. Yep. No, yeah. He, he was just evil and bad. Yeah, he wouldn't give yeah, a shit. But he helped her out. Like, but saying doesn't matter. He, he doesn't have to kill people. Sometimes that doesn't make him a good person. Like. He still killed people, and he'll do anything for House Lannister. Of course, he would Lannister do. That's fine. Yeah, but like, he has done some good, and that's why he's always you can always have a but, nice but bit about it. What do you him. mean by good? Because he hasn't decided saving to kill people and, and shit like that. Yeah, he's not as evil and sinister as his sister. His sister, he knows his sister's a fucking evil bitch. Yeah, but I reckon that Brianna, you know, when he like saved her, like I reckon he just did it to help him get out of that situation as well. Mm. Anyway, that's a that's an interesting interesting uh, yeah, topic. Interesting one. Yeah. yeah, look, there is some good in him. But he's, he's overall bad. He's, there's more bad than good. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, there is, because he's a Lannister. And he, he has to live up to that, I guess. Yeah, you know? yeah. 
But uh, it's been it's been pretty good. I've enjoyed what, the last four. Oh, and, and it was good to see um, the little girl back in her uh, hometown. Aya. Aya. Aya yeah. Stark. Very awkward scene though. Um, when I, you know, when they're down in the crypt uh, with Ned Stark, you know, the statue of their father. Yep. And it was very, very like just an interest. Shall I call you Lady Stark now? It didn't really seem. That's right. E emotional enough. You know, I was just like, oh my god, they're finally gonna see. Sisters, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you know, and Bran's kind of just. He's a bit it's bland actually, and well now, fucked. He, yeah, no, well, he's got no personality. He's yeah. actually been taken over. He's and, lost. And that, that girl said that that's been traveling around. Like, is that all that uh, get his thanks? That's right. Because he, his actually personality he's, has he's actually gone, changed yeah. now. Yeah. He said Bran is gone or something, and yeah. he's now this new dude. Oh, yeah, you, like, lost, you lost yourself when you were at that cave, and, that, and that, that's true. When he got, yeah. like, connected... That's it. He he actually changed. Yeah. Well, she yeah. That, that servant chick came in and said, "I'm leaving now." And he's like, uh, "Okay, bye." <laughs> yeah. And she's like, "What? That's all I get." Yeah, that's all I get. I was yeah. like, "Damn." Yeah, no. Nah, that's that, who that servant chick. She said that she was the sister of um, Hodor or whatever. Yo, Hodor. Hodor. Yeah. Hodor. Hodor. Yeah. Poor Hodor. Yeah. I always had hope that maybe he survived the uh, White Walkers, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Now we haven't, we haven't actually seen any of the White Walkers, really, have we? Not yet, but Jon Snow is trying to get the world prepared and letting everyone know, but no one really believes him. I think I think maybe the, uh, the uh, what's her name, Daenerys, is finally believing him. Yeah, and you know what, I think, I think it's interesting that they, people saw the dragons first, you know, because now, now people yeah. start to believe, you know what I mean, that dragons are legit. You that know, was pretty cool seeing seeing the dra seeing her flying the dragon and yeah, burning everyone up. Yeah, because all, all these guys like you know that was all talking you know Daenerys and mm. the dragon, but no one's actually like these people have actually never. Yeah, it was no always a myth. Seen, yeah, it's always kind of a myth, you know. Like the White Walkers was a myth, but yep, yeah, they're coming. But what do you think is going to happen, to Jon Snow and Daenerys? Both of them can't rule. What's going to happen there? Um. Well, I'm not sure. Do you know? Because I haven't read any of the books. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to read well, them. I think, I think the books are not even up to this point now. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I think ultimately the whole human race and all the stupid bitching around for a throne will just stop and they'll have to verse the White Walkers all together. Yeah. They're going to all have to team up. And then once that, um, or that, that army or that fucking war is done, then suddenly they'll just have to, um, you know... <laughs> Go for the throne, I guess. It, it still could last fucking ages, couldn't it? So you reckon, you reckon it'll be? Do you know what? I'll be pissed off if, if that's the ending. If, if I know there'll be a big war, you know, fire and dice. You know, that's what the whole thing is about, fire and dice. You know, the the two coming together. You know, but the the thing is, well, maybe they all die in the massive war, and then there's like one person left, and that like, oh, I may as well take the throne. It'll be Littlefinger. You know, like humans versus the the White Walkers. There's a big battle for that, and then a lot of the characters die, and then one guy actually survives, and he ends up being the front. Well, well, Maybe that's this it. This is the thing with the White Walkers. They still need to get through the wall, right? Um, I'm not sure. They're but, coming through. Are they? Yeah. There's no one there to protect the wall, though. There's not that many people. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're they're going to come in. They're going to they're going to come in, and they've got the giants. Remember, they've actually got yes, giants as well. Yeah, that's right. We saw them in the first episode. Yeah. So look, I, I honestly think what's going to happen is that, look, it'll be shit. I don't want no fucking happily ever after story with Game of Thrones because the whole the whole premise of the story is about playing the game, is playing the game for mm. the throne. What are you doing, you know what I mean, to, to get the throne? And and we're going to be seeing, they only said it's one more season after this. Oh. Didn't they? That, Isn't that I, what they said? I have no idea, to be honest. Oh, well, that's what I heard. Like, guys, let us know what you, what you think, but... Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, in one, if they only got one more season to go, you're going to see some big characters start getting... They're thinking about... What I heard, they, they'll probably be doing a remake, you know, so before it starts. Yep. You know, with the Mad King and showing, you know what I mean, like a whole nother backdrop. Yep. You know, so that kind of thing, yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's getting interesting. It is. Well, yeah, it is getting interesting. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, what's more interesting is we, we, need to, we need to have some battles, bro. Battles. I'll tell you what, um, there's this guy named Seb and uh, he, we had a we had a board games night, board games bonanza we had. It was a good night. It was a good night. Um, Friday Friday night it was. No, Saturday day, an afternoon, wasn't it, Doggo? Are we on the new bridge right now? I think we are. Yeah, I think. This, is this the Sweet. bridge? Yeah, this is definitely new. Is this, is this it? Yep. See what I mean? Look, this is like crammed up. Look, mm. two lanes, you know, each side, just for this bridge. If you don't know what we're talking about, the fucking Perth freeways and highways are, are terrible. 
they're only like tiny little two laners and so much traffic and jamming up in the mornings and afternoons it's just stupid everyone's jamming up everyone's got jam it's just jamming it the fuck up and it's so frustrating and and do you know do you know what's frustrating too like especially we're lucky guys like i don't you don't know about perth but in australia but in australia it, there's so much space you know what I mean? We're, we're not like, you know, little countries or... There's actually... Australia is absolutely massive. And we've got all this space, but the planning hasn't gone in there with the roads. <laughs> it, yeah. it hasn't. Yeah, I guess we built around, not thinking about the roads. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, we basically... Maybe, oh, yeah. let's chuck some roads in here. Oh, yeah. not enough room. Let's just fuck it. And right. the thing is, everyone, common sense goes, if you're building a freeway, build it to the maximum lanes as possible. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Who cares if people are not using any of the lanes, but... Build all the lanes so there's hardly any traffic, you know? I think it's all about the money as well, though, dude. Like, the yeah, government, no, but, money, yeah, but, and but how you, much is going to yeah, cost, infrastructure, all it's that bullshit. It's going to cost you... Okay, but the thing is, it's going to be cheaper over in the long run. Because once you build the road, then all you have to do is re resurface it. You know, you don't have to... You know, like, yes, it's going to cost you more at the start, but yep. later on, it's going to... You know, if you wait 10 years, prices are going to go up, everything's going to go up, you know? It ain't going to be cheaper. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, anyway, I hate talking about road and traffic. Yeah, we're talking about, right, that's what I'm saying, that's retro, bro. Retro but this bros. is it, man, this is the bro cast. Wait, wait, this, this is, is the, we can talk we, about we, anything. Yeah, we can talk about anything. Like I told you, man, this is good to let us off our chest, what's yeah. going on around the yeah. world, you know? It's like, like, well, I'll tell you what, what do you think about Trump, mate? Let's talk Let's talk about the real deal. Let's talk about the big DT. You want to go politics? You want to go oh. Trumpy? What do you think about retro Trump, bros mate? are going what, politics. What do you think about Trump, man? I don't know enough to actually really give an opinion. I, I think he's actually... No, just what's your feel? What's your vibe on him? Um, I don't pay attention enough, man. Like, I really don't. So I haven't got, like, strong beliefs or feelings in politics. But, you know, I think, whatever, he, he speaks his mind and he's out there and he's a different president to uh, any other president. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Um, he's not afraid to um, say what he feels. And, yeah. And I think that's... I see, Personally, I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Do you know what? 100%. I think, I think a lot of politicians, they just try and make everyone happy where... People are actually, these days, especially I think the younger generation, are actually responding more to people that are just speaking their mind, that don't basically give a fuck, you know? And you're either, you're either for their opinions or against their opinions. As long as you stay true to yourself, mm. you know, that, that's, that's the most important thing. And, and that's why he won, because politics were talking about the same old shit, you know, no change. And he came in and go, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So and good on him. I think his first, his first actual uh, agenda is just to take care of America and and not worry about all this shit about other countries. Mm. And I think that's what won in all the votes because everyone's like, hey, he wants to take care of America. Every other every other president or before mm. him was like, oh, the allies with all these other countries, blah, blah, blah. He just wants to take care of America first and, and foremost. And I think that's probably the most important thing in their eyes. So, yeah, yeah. Good on but him. Yeah, lucky, lucky. I mean, yeah, I mean, good on him that he won. But I, overall, I think all the stuff that he's done after, he's, he's just an absolute dickhead. Um, <laughs> well, I don't I, know. I, like I, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway... You know, that's democracy, though. You know yeah. what I mean? No, that's what it is. You know, if we if retro bros start, but then we go, everyone gets a video game console because it makes people happy. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, well, then, mate, we might get votes, mate. We might get <laughs> votes, you know? We'll be, yeah, instead of the Green Party, we're called the, uh, hey. the Bro Party. Yeah. <laughs> nah, fuck yeah, politics. Nah, sorry, that's our it. politics rant, mate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. But what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think about those what new sunglasses you, you bought? Oh, they're, they're alright, man. They're alright. Yeah, right. he's looking at you. He just touched them. They're only 15 bucks. He's I, literally I'm just not, touched I'm not them. a big spender. No, they're right. Sonny's. 20 bucks, I'll pay for them. I break them too easy, man. 20 bucks, yeah. Because you work hard and play hard, bro. Yeah, they just break so easy, man. Maybe it's because I've only got 10 bucks a pair of Sonny's, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, but they're good, man. They're good. Well, what else have you been watching, man? What else have you been watching? I've been watching a show called. Um, oh, let's not talk about TV, bro. We, we've, we did a big chat about TV, but I'll tell you else what yeah. I'm watching anyway. I watch. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, like... Bachelor? You watching The Bachelor? Do you know what? You're a, you're a Bachelor watcher, aren't you? It was funny you last night. You fucking love The Bachelor. No, no, I watched a little bit of The Batchy. I call it The Batchy. The Batchy. The Batchy. And um, there was a little bit of The Batchy last night. And this this guy, this Matty J, is, for me, is a loser. He's an absolute loser. I know, like, there's what a lot makes of girls... Him a loser? There's a lot of girls over there. Just the way he talks, like... When they were, like... They were holding hands last night on a single... Like, on, like, on all these dates, whatever. And he's like... How, how do you like that? Like, just by, like, holding hands, like... Oh, right. I was like, that's fucking weird. And he's, and he's dressed, and the way he dresses... Don't they just me, wear suits? No, like, he was wearing, like... I think guys out there, they're trying to dress too fancy, man. Too, too metro. You just need a plain T-shirt, chinos. I'm telling you all right now, everyone out there... Hey, whoa, whoa, let's cut it. 
This is DJ's fashion tip. I'll tell you what, very simple. You need to get yourself a good pair of skateboard like sneakers. Skateboard sneakers are gay, man. No, no, they're the best. And you need to get some chinos. And then I you like just, chinos. You, then I like you just chinos. need plain t shirts. That's all you need. All this floral print, pink collared, fucking gay shit, tight shorts. Like these little tight shorts that guys wear. Idiots. <laughs> and if you've got a good tush, chicks love it. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Now nah, look, uh, look. We've said the gay word a couple of times. If you are homo and, and gay, we, we've got nothing against you. You can't we say just, that. We just, you we just, cut it, it just, bro. it just. You gotta cut <laughs> it. This is no, broadcast. We're allowed to say whatever we want. You can't There's no. We're allowed to say whatever we want, bro. This is this is uncensored. This is, this is Doggo talking, everyone. It's fine. My name's Doggo. I've got nothing against gay people. But it's just. <laughs> So he's cracking up laughing. What's wrong with that? I've, I've got on record saying I've got nothing against yeah, gay but, people. Yeah, but that's only the premise that you think we do have something well, against gay people. I don't think there'll be many homosexuals listening. They're probably stuff all people listening. We've got nothing against gay people. That's I, not... I said that. That's what yeah, I just but, said. But, yeah, but the but prim- you keep dropping the, the gay bomb. No, but the premise of you saying that is thinking that we're, we're, we're being offensive sure to gays. It's just people aren't offended. No, we're using the term gay as a, in sucks. Like, it sucks. Obviously, yeah. But that's what a lot too of people much, do. See, you know? Too much political correctness going on in the world too, you know what I mean? A there lot of is, people... and that's why I don't want this podcast yeah. to be politically and, correct. And we can is, talk about whatever the fuck we is, want like a couple of mates. And this is something that fucking pisses me off in here the we world go. too. Here we go. There's too much political correctness going on. People need to fucking understand that an opinion is an opinion. An opinion doesn't cause hate. You know what I mean? That's right. Let someone have an opinion. Everyone's allowed one. You know what I mean? And the moment until that opinion becomes an action, you know what I mean? Until they go out and actually kill someone or, or do something about it, it's just an opinion. You know what I mean? Let them have their opinion. You know? And the only the best thing about an opinion is only true if you start to believe it. You know, if you if you don't believe that opinion, then it's not true. Well, so let, let them have it. You let believe have your it. own opinion, I guess, wouldn't you? But yeah, but that's it. But like, this is the thing. A lot of people say these opinions; they get fucking chastised. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And and the sad thing is, you waste your own time about going against someone else's opinion. Like, don't you want to just have the decency just to say I don't agree with it? Like, people spend. I agree so much, disagree. Yeah, people spend so much of their time going about this opinion, this opinion, this opinion. When at the end of the day you just go, I disagree with it. You know, mm-hmm. too much political correctness going on. You know, yeah, Every, everyone thinks they're out to hurt someone else. You know, yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the world is a different place, man. Like ten years has it's changed so much. It's absolute fucking shit. And it's all because of social media. Let's face it, social media has you know just I mean? given everyone a word to uh, speak up. Yeah, these 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 and things. Thinks, and you gotta uh, you gotta yeah you gotta ask yourself like twenty years ago, well, is there a good reason why we didn't get awkward about these things or didn't get anxious about these things like people are not realizing like let's learn from our history let's learn from the past there's a reason why we didn't get angry about when we well we sat- might have we might have got angry no, but we had no, no we didn't get nowhere offended, to but, um but, but, to to express the feelings like social no, media is such an easy no. a, easy outlet to um just go oh my god this is fucked and he's people jump on it and everyone's like whoa what the hell but it's but so social easy. media shouldn't be the backbone to why someone gets offended, like why a minority group or a group yeah, that no, they find it offensive. That's true, it yeah. should be found offensive when it's actually offensive, when when the opinion becomes an action. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, you, you'd think by the year 2017, the whole racial shit would just be completely gone yeah. now. You know what I mean? Everyone's but, just, it's, it's just. For someone saying I don't like gay people, right? Let's mm. let's let's talk about this. Someone saying, you know, with the all gay rights, marriage rights, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Someone goes, I don't like gay people. If they don't like gay people, that's fine. But if they're not causing any actions of that, that's right. Do you know You're what not I mean? Hurting anyone. Let, I like dark chocolate. I like white chocolate. You know what I mean? I like vegetables. I like salad. People are allowed to like or dislike something until it becomes, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. An, an action. So, and this is. You know, and then people go, oh, well, everyone should everyone should love LGBTQI people, you know? We should all... It's not about love. It's all about respect. Everyone should respect each other and in whatever in you do. Yeah, yeah. In whatever you do. As long as it doesn't because harm anyone, anyone else. Physically exactly. and uh, physically, emotionally. Yeah, that, yeah. And, that, and, that's, and that's the big lesson that I think political correctness has, has forgotten about. Because yeah. people are just going, you can't say that. You can't do this. But the overall aspect of it of it is you need to look at we need to be all respecting each other. You know what I mean? Well said. That's the way I, that's the way I look at it, dog. And and that's absolute bullshit. Yeah, well said. I, I don't get 
the whole this whole marriage equality like what's taking them so long to do it like I don't give a shit if I get if, if gays or lesbians mm. get married like it's not going to affect me or my life and if they're going to be happy then let it be like I just don't understand why we're still so hesitant yeah. on letting this go through I, it's, it's interesting and all the news about it I just can't believe it I, I cannot know. believe it because in our mind like we're, we're a bit of the younger generation mm. you know what I mean where we, we, we believe in that equality yeah. but you, you look at older you know the older generation they've been brought up where you know like lesbians and gays were, yeah. were thought of as really bad and it's sad they were thought of as really bad it people is, it is sad you know what I mean it's, it's actually really sad and, and, and that's where'd what, that come from like the bibles and shit like you know what I mean yeah like, yeah well it was, it was just cast it was just and it was actually it was actually illegal to be in Australia it was actually Horse illegal shit. to be lesbian or yeah. gay you know what I mean it was actually illegal so but this is what we need to learn from history this is what we need to go you know what now it's not illegal to be gay mm. or lesbian and because we've showed the respect. Do you know what I mean? The respect has come, you know? They realised that gays weren't out there hurting anyone. Lesbian weren't, you know, not out there any hurting anyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they, we finally learn as a society to, to show that respect, you know? You know, to show that respect. And I'm with you. Marriage equality, it is, blows my mind, you know what I mean? That it's not allowed yet. You yeah, know? It, it is just It is just absolutely... Stupid. I mean, we're slowly Absolutely getting there, stupid. and I think inevitably it's going to happen. It's just a lot of wank about it, eh? Like, it's just crazy. It is crazy how long it's taking, but yeah, hey, good, good topics, man. We're just like rattling off a bunch of topics yeah. here. And it's I, really I'll good. tell you what, as well. Um, let's talk about I don't know if you guys heard, um, there's this, there was a there was a big blow up uh, in a place called Albany, which is a uh, about five, oh, 300 miles down south or about 500 kilometers down south and it was a junior football competition and basically this football like they smashed the team was like 100 I don't know they beat them by like 100, 100 points whatever right I haven't heard this and basically they said they were playing um, they shouldn't have beaten them by that much or whatever no because they were, they were versing a really weak team so the, the competition has actually didn't give them the winning points because they believe they played unfairly, that they beat them by that much. So they took the competition points off them and there was, really? this, big, there was this big uproar. And like, honestly... And it's the same age honestly, group or what? Like yeah, same the same age, the same age group, same league, and they beat them like 97 to 2 or whatever. How old are they? How old I don't are they know, like 10-year-old, I don't know, 10-year-old. It was junior football, right? Um, I, think I, I, I don't know the exact details, mm. but the, the thing is... Like, kids need to learn you win or you lose. Yeah, or you, you get what fucking mean? pumped. Yeah, or you get pumped, you know what I mean? I don't care, like, because, you know, we're, we just told you we're having kids and stuff, but, you know, obviously, like, I want my kid to play sport, but I don't seriously care if my kid gets beaten by 80 points and yeah. 90 points and then cries about it and go, oh, we got wood, and go, yeah, and then, you know what I'll be like as a parent? Yeah, you did. You gotta learn you know to be mean? better and you practice. You gotta be learn to be better and practice. There's a reason why they beat you is because they're better than you. Yeah. And you need to tell your kids the facts. All this fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? In junior sport, where they go, oh, you can't. You know, like there's a lot of competitions now, basketball, whatever. They'll keep the score down. So yeah. like, if you like, they'll only keep your score points at thirty or something. You know. Well, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I went to a little little Oz kick uh, game. Yeah. Not too long ago. Is it here, is it? No, you, you don't get off now. It's changed now. Oh, okay. I've got to find a photo. Sorry, guys. Just a little uh, intersection problem. But um, as I was saying, I went to a little Oz kick, and there were only like four or five-year-olds playing uh, footy for the first time in a team environment. And they actually do that quite a lot. Um, you know, they'll encourage the kids to to dish it off to a player on their team to kick a goal instead of them just kicking constant goals. They'll encourage to, um, you know, let the other team sort of have a little, a few goals as well. It's just sort of, look, I, they're I know, so young, you don't really want to just demoralise a little kid like that, but yeah. it depends on the age group. If they're a bit older and a bit more competitive, then let them go for it, you know? I, let them go for it, but... I think this is where you and I, I know, I know this is... If they're that little, no, nah, because if they're that little, like, trust me, I was watching it the other day and... You know, they just fucking run off and cry to the parents, and, I, and and it pisses me off. But they're that little; they just want to go out there and have fun, kick goals. Like they don't really understand. But the why winning are they and, crying? And why are they crying? 
just crying because they want to have some of the ball, man. They're just out there to have fun. Well, let Until them cry. Really, yeah, let yeah. them cry. Like, I, I, know do this get is, it. I know this is your nephew and stuff. Like, No, I do get it. I completely understand. I think in about two or three years when they're a little bit family. older, when they're a little bit older, oh, dude, this taxi's trying to cut me off. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But no, I know what you Good mean. Exit, I do yeah. know what you mean, man. No, and uh, look. And we'll, I, we'll, I, we'll, we will yeah, figure that out in yeah. about four or five years' I, time. I am sick and tired because we've had this conversation before. You need to teach kids resilience. Right now, my sister's a teacher as well. My sister's saying, Josh, you, at school now, they're teaching all this emotional stuff, being aware of your emotions, you know what I mean? It's okay to cry. Yes, it is okay to cry, but it's not okay to cry all the time. Yeah, you know what I mean? You need to be resilient, yeah. you know what I mean? So in this sporting issue, right, um, you need to turn yeah, yeah. left here. In this sporting issue, they're crying because they're not getting the ball. I'll, I'll be, well, what, what are you teaching your kid by the ball getting passed to them? Yeah. Because in reality, who is it? if you're walking down the street and you need a hundred dollars, is someone just going to go, "Here's a hundred dollars"? Do you know what I mean? No, I, I just think, I mean, obviously they're they're, they're young, you know, they, these principles are not going to stay with them for the rest of their life. But it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's beyond reproach. And, you know, you need to be teaching kids to be strong. Yeah. To be resilient. You know what I mean? To do their best, you know? And I think, especially in today's age, okay, you need to te teach kids to be competitive. I think there's nothing better in a kid or a human being when someone has drive. When you see a kid have drive and they go, I want to do that. You know, I saw a thing on... TV, this, this, this kid is like nine years old. He invented an app. And now it's gone global because he, it's for like um, foreign aid and like, you know, helping that. This kid was nine years old and he had the drive to do it. That's cool, eh? he, It's not someone telling him to do it as a kid. He actually had the drive to do it, you know? And teaching kids at this age gives them no drive. You're teaching them, it's, it's competition. Do you know what I mean? It's competition. That's what uh, it's about. Yeah, I'm fully with you, man. Like, we just, as, you know, early 30s with no kids, we don't know what it's like yet, but I'd love to listen to this conversation in about four years' time and see where we're at on that. Yeah. To see if those little tactics you and, know, uh, and do, I, do you know I, where I, I'm going? Yeah, yeah, go straight and turn right up the next round. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, you know what, like... I know but this. This this will probably maybe this might this might be controversial to a lot of people, you know, especially with kids. Because yes, we don't we don't have kids yet, you know what I mean. And um, it's our right, thoughts pre kids. Just, yeah, this is our thoughts of pre kids, and you know we'll see them playing sport, and we probably want them to get the ball. But I, I can tell you honestly right now, like I would love to tell my kid, no, no, you got to work hard. You need to work Run hard to get ball. the ball. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. Run yeah. for that ball. You get need, in there. You need to work hard to get that ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? That ball's just not going to come to you. You yeah. got to call for it. You got to right. you got to call for. It. You know, and if they're crying because they didn't get the ball, it's like, well, you didn't get the ball. Hopefully, next week you can get the ball by doing this and doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's just what I saw when I went to it, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cute and yeah. pretty cool that they're just passing well, it to them. Yeah. And just, you know, to let them have a kick and, and get a goal. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. They get to celebrate with their friends because they kicked the goal yeah. as well. I get it, but at the same time, I'm on your sort of. But, I, yeah, I, but I what did they want to get that goal? Like, they did fuck all, that's what I'm like, saying. Okay. Like, they just stood there and went. I'll give you this life philosophy, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you, he's a tiler. Doggo's a tiler, right? You, you go in. You go into a house. Like, say you bought a house, right? And it got tiled for you, right? And you go. You look at it and go, okay, oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? But what about if you tiled it yourself? Mm. How you feel a lot better, don't of you? Of course. Yeah. What? Why? Why do you feel better? You achieved it yourself. That's exactly it, right. Yeah, and you did that work yourself. Even though this guy kicked the goal. And was happy because he kicked the goal with his friends. But I'm telling you right now, if he kicked the goal himself, he wasn't passed to it, you know what I mean? And he did it all himself. He feels so much. He feels so much better. Yeah. There's something there's something instinctual about human achievement for me. When you do it all yourself, you know what I mean? It's a lot better. That's all that's all I'm saying. And you're not teaching kids to be resilient. But um Bro, very, very interesting topics we brought what, up on this man. broadcast today. Well, I'm still here early, but you got to roll. you got to roll. I could still so kick, got, kick you, around you if you want to roll, keep yeah. going. Yeah, you know that. I don't think park here for too long. but um, Okay, well, maybe we'll wrap it up. That was a good little comeback, man, because we're back. I'll tell you what, Retro Bros, 
fucking make this go global. Is political talk about political correctness? So many different topics. Kids. You know? That's what we want this podcast to be about. Like, we don't want any like. We don't want any fucking ratings on it. We don't want to be politically correct. We want to talk how we just talk as a bunch of mates, you know, talking to you guys about anything. About, about anything. life, you know. Because I'm really, I'm really scared the way society's going at the moment. You know what I mean? Uh, in, in just, just, just a lot of things. People, are, people, mental health on the rise. You know what I mean? I, I understand it, but people need to take a fucking real deal look at themselves. You know? Because mm. everyone gets stressed. Everyone gets worried. And you really got to ask yourself, why was why was mental health down 50 years ago, and why is mental health just skyrocketed today? Yeah, I'm not sure about the whole mental health thing, man. Yeah. I think it's, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. It is. It is completely... I don't understand it, so I can't yeah, really give you a strong on. opinion on it. So, anyway. But I just think, man, but what I've, the, the overall thing is, if you're teaching kids today not to be resilient, you know what I mean? That, yes, it's okay to have emotions and stuff like that, but... It's, but you need to do something to get over it. You know what I mean? You yep. need to do something to, to make yourself... You need to be better than you were once before. You need to be teaching that. You know? No, I fully... I'm with you, man. Yeah, and, I, you. and that's why I think mental health will be even higher when we... When we, you know... When we actually get older. Oh, because of all the yeah. soft shit yeah. going on now. Yeah. yeah. Imagine your kid... I, I just want to ask you this. Imagine your kid's eight years old, right? You've got a boy... You know, eight years old. You got a you got an eight year old, five year old, right? And and your eight year old learns learns about being depressed at school. And he goes up to, and he comes to you as an eight year old and goes, "Dad, I'm depressed." Mm. What are you gonna do? You, like, because common sense might go, like, because if we did that as a kid, we like what tighten the hard, like you know, my mum would go. I can imagine my mum saying, "Oh, is everything? Oh, you know, is everything does, okay?" Does an but, eight-year-old even know what depression yes, is? This is what they're teaching in schools, an Brian. Eight, an eight-year-old? No, not the obviously like the actual real deal. You know what I mean? Mm. But they learn about depre- They learn about this now. This at is eight this, years old. This is yeah. This is they teach emotions in school mm. about crying, about being upset, about being jealous. Well, I guess if to get depressed, you've got to keep that shit in for a long time, and I would hope that my kid would have the confidence to come to myself or my mum yeah. and talk about anything that's making them upset yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before you know he or her get depressed yeah. in, in a way. Yeah, yeah. So I would hope that depression... I'd, I'd think there's a oh, we depression... Gotta we got to roll. Oh, you got to yeah, go? Yeah, you got to go. Okay, Let's cool. Roll. Well, look, we're done. Okay, Thanks, man. we're done because he's got to bail. Uh, Retro Thanks, Bros. Please. We are out of here. Peace to the next time. Retro Bros. I tell you what, it's getting heated, man. We're out. Controversial topics. Peace. Thank you so much. There you have it, Retro Bros. DJ's gone, just me left, Doggo, and uh, some really interesting conversations we just had then about all, all different stuff. Politics even got in there, Jesus. Wow, that was really interesting, and that's what I'll kind of, that's what we kind of want this podcast to be about, just anything, and uh, so we could have a chat and talk about stuff, and all the latest stuff. You know, we can talk about games, we can talk about movies, we can talk about TV shows, we can talk about general shit that's going on in the world. And just our opinions, everyone, they're just all our opinions and that's all they are. I mean, if you don't like our opinions, then, you know, you have every right to um, tell us about it. But um, don't hate us because we have a different opinion. But, you know, it was really interesting and we want to get back, we want to get back. And I'll I'll put these up on the uh, YouTube page as well as the Podbean, uh, the Podbean, Podbean app that we have, because uh, we're going to start doing a lot more of these podcasts. We're going to try and get one out every week. Um, I'll advertise it on the Facebook page when they're out. I'll put them on the YouTube as well. Uh, there won't be much video footage to choose or to, to watch, sorry, but. Um, at least if you're subscribed on YouTube, you'll be able to see them when they pop up. And I'll put the download link for Podpeen in the description. So, hope you guys got through it. I'm very sorry about the audio quality. The first half was um, sounded really scratchy uh, because I had like some earphones plugged in. And so it didn't sound very good at all. The second half sounded way better and more clearer. So I apologise about that. I am going to definitely work on the audio uh, in the upcoming episodes. That's for damn sure to make this 
a lot better, a lot clearer for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Whoever's watching, I don't know if anyone's going to even listen or watch. But um, thanks for joining, guys. Uh, we're back. The Retro Bros are back. And we're going to keep doing these and get more better at it. And we'd love to hear some feedback if you have any. Anyway, peace, guys. Until next time. Retro Brews are out.